I'll kill you! I think it's a bit pointless to tell you to keep the guards casualty to a minimum as they probably have orders to kill you. So respond in kind. Oh uh, look, we'll miss there. I expect the companions are keeping some of the Imperials busy. As you are the harbinger. I'm going to put you down! Yeah, give Garma some time to get up there. I'm getting sick of rabbit. Right, that's enough right. time. Let's finish the job. Die, rebel! Where'd you come from? In the name of the yard! <laughs> Move against Thurna first. She's more dangerous. Down. Enough. That's enough. I surrender. I surrender. Peace. Susie. Everyone stand down. That's an order. Stand down. Balgrof. Vignar Greymane. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't a dagger in the back have sufficed? You think this is personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. I'm and you? You have no place in Whiterun anymore! A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people should know that. If this was my empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damned well pleased. 
You wish to see an empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves, not bending knee to them. The Emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Skyrim needs a High King who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar, was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend? What about their families? Enough! Both of you! There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. You hear me, you old fool? This isn't over. And you, a storm cloak. I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. They will sing stories of this day. He was in the way. He needs to get out of it. Time to report the good news to Ulfric Stormcloak. Let's see. Look at this map. Familiarize yourself with it. If there's a location there that you're not aware of, make a note of it. As you might want to go there at some point. In fact, you probably have to go to one of these at some point. Not counting the whole capital. Because I think you've already been to all of them. Okay, now to wait for Ulfric Stormcloak. Sir, there continues to be unrest in the Grey Quarter. Blast to Dark Elves. I don't suppose you could tell them that I presently have larger concerns, such as all of Skyrim. They don't seem to be very sympathetic to our cause, sir. Let me know if you hear anything more substantial. Of course, my lord. Uh, the Dunmer neutral. We've driven the Imperials out of White Run. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Fort Greeth. Galmar will have special tasks for you, and will need you when we liberate the capital. Talos guide you. Let's have a chat with Jarl Vignar Greymane. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Whiterun. Talk to my steward if you're interested. He's already done so. Well... First and foremost, there's repairs to make and wounds to heal. Folks are depending on us getting the city back in working order. Once things settle down, I'll be looking to recruit more guards for the city than shore up our stores of food and water. The Empire might try and take the city back, or worse, we'll get a visit from a dragon. 
We've got to be ready for both. You can handle dragons. Aye, with a certainty. It was Talos that helped us win back the city. I'm as sure of that as the sun rising in the morning. Might even build a new temple and put Heimsker in charge of it. <laughs> I bet he'd like that. There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. If you help my people, and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my thane. As you were, then. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house, Carl, to watch over your home and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. I was done talking anyway. Good to see you again, friend. You might as well pop by the mad preacher. Now that Tallow's worship is legal in White Run. Embrace the word of mighty Talos, he who is both man and divine. Praise Talos and all the divines. White Run has been liberated by the true sons of Skyrim. With open arms, with cheers and song, with joy in my heart and Tears in my eyes. Praise be to Talos. This is a glorious day for White Run and for all Skyrim. Our liberators have come at last. Terrible and powerful Talos. We are unworthy servants. Give praise only to your grace. Yeah, he's quite pleased. White Run belongs to the true sons of Skyrim now, just as it should. I'm sure my brother Vigna is, since they made him Jarl after throwing Balgruf out. Comes the end of the day, Imperials and Stormcloaks ain't that much different. Both sides want to tell you how you should live your life. Guess I'd rather hear it from a real Nord than some Emperor down south. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty much Idris Deep's dance in this.